hey there, fellow design enthusiasts. If you're new to Kuhum and eager to create stunning 3D renders, you've come to the right place. Our beginner's guide to Kuhum rendering is your ticket to transforming your design visions into beautiful, lifelike images. We'll help you unlock the full potential of Kuhum's rendering capabilities so you can impress your clients or simply enjoy visualizing your dream spaces. Subscribe if you love everything about design and show some love in the comments. It's always lovely to hear from you. Ready to dive in? Let's get started. This is an exterior design I just made recently. Let me know if you like it in the comment. It is a bit industrial, but we love concrete. It's not going anywhere and it's safe. What I always tell my clients is that choosing the right materials is important because they change with the lighting. So the whole rendering mission is trial and error, but I'm going to give you some tips that might make your mission successful without any lost time. Before you begin designing, create a standard room, just a cube. It will serve as a palette to experiment on. You might already know which colors and materials you will be using, but I suggest you try them first and see how they look on a standard light template render. Since we are tackling exterior, I prefer to use the outdoor template just because it has better environments that will complement my design better. Cloudy, snowy, and so on. By the way, for our new audience, the software we are using is Kuhom, and I don't want you to miss out on working smarter, not harder. So here it is, and don't say I am gatekeeping. Join me on an exhilarating journey with Kuhom. Click the exclusive link in the description box where you will find tempting discounts on all Kuhom plans. And let's dive into a world where creativity knows no bounds. Trust me, this video is not sponsored by Kuhom, although I wish they did. Just like you, I was looking for that spark, that extra edge in design, and I found it here. Easy to learn software, vast library, great quality video, and image renders and different affordable plans to choose from. Don't miss your chance to revolutionize your designs and leave your clients in awe. So let's move on now to our rendering. Now you have to edit lights depending on which effect you want to achieve. First, I will show you this light template I created for this design. As you can see, no harsh sunlight, and no dark shadows. It looks almost like a real picture of a building. I find that 10,000 Kelvin will cast a neutral light on your design with no yellow or blue light. And lowering the brightness will allow textures on the exterior to pop more. You can play with the elevation depending on where you want more light to be. Add some rectangular basic lights on places you think will be darker. I put mine under balconies. By the way, here is a trick to use when your design is heavy or runs slow sometimes. Just hide furniture and decor and it will run faster. When you are ready to render, click here and they will be back in place. Easy, right? Save your lights and select an environment. Now you should know that this plays a role to see the settings here. Environment brightness should be reduced when trying to achieve a cloudy or rainy effect. Ambient light reflection will either make your glass windows reflect light or just be transparent. So after you've done that, render and see how your colors and materials look with that template. You can copy the same template if you want to make changes. So you can have a cloudy template and a new template with the same lights but a different sun effect. Like I did here, I have my go-to template and I duplicate it to experiment with different light effects. This one is the warm sun effect. Temperature is at 4,000 Kelvin and brightness is 30%. This one here is at 6,000 Kelvin and 100% brightness. You can see how bright it is. The sunlight in this picture is positioned in the back of the building, which made the front cast a darker shade. So pay attention to where you position the sunlight. Brightness is at 50% and sunlight is 3,000 Kelvin. This is the yard and you can see how warm the light is. Perfect for when you want to have a dusk, sunset or dawn effect. The lowest is 2000 Kelvin and it will produce this light. Almost nighttime in fact. You can use it as a nighttime template if you position the sunlight in the back. Here is the backyard with the same light. Add some more spotlights and you will have a beautiful outdoor space. Before we end this video, I would like to inform you that I have created gigs on Fiverr. For anyone who would love to see their space designed and 3D rendered. By supporting me on Fiverr, you're not just getting quality interior design services, but you're also helping me create beautiful spaces that match your vision. Your support fuels my passion and ensures you get the best design experience. Let's turn your dreams into reality. And I'm here to make it happen. 
there is a link below. Oh, check it out. Who knows, you might be tempted to give your space a new look. I hope you liked this video. If you do, hit the like button and subscribe for more. And if you have any questions or requests, don't hesitate to comment below and show some love. See you next time.